my name is Eileen Perez, I'm an astrophysicist, and this is what would happen inside a cold nebula. So you're referring to dark absorption nebulas. So dark nebulas. Their actual temperature is very low, uh, it's very near to zero, it's 7 to 15 degrees Kelvin. That's frigid cold. So generally we can see this. Uh, so if we see a background of stars, let's say something like you're looking at the sky, you will see a region that is completely black. So this region, you're just going to see nothing. You can see anything behind it. If you shine a light to go towards it, it's going to get absorbed. So uh, where does this dark, really opaque clouds come from? So they actually are uh, these hydrogen clouds or molecular clouds. and they are opaque. Now, some of these are giant molecular clouds and they can get up to millions of times the mass of the sun. I mean, there's a lot of mass in these molecular clouds. Um, they actually can range in size. They can be about a um, hundred uh, light years across, even larger than that. So they're very large, very massive. Now, we can't really see a lot of the stuff that's going on inside because it's the absorption, but what we do see once the dust clears is that there's actually a lot of star formation going on inside the cloud. So these cold clouds actually have a lot of cloudlets forming inside that are actually contracting and becoming protostars. So the main thing that happens inside a cold uh, nebula is that you have star formation. And you get that from cloudlets inside forming protostars. My name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist. And this is what would happen inside a cold nebula.